All right, these, it is that time of the year where I talk about the movies that disappointed me the most. Blood on your knife. Not on your life. The movies that I thought were the worst movies of the year. The movies that I mentally checked out of the theater. The movies that I, I wanted to puke. <laughs> that I turned away. That I could not stand. That I felt like... I could have spent my money on something more con constructive, a McDonald's Happy Meal. Go to Pizza Hut. But instead, I ended up watching these movies. Coming in at number five, and by the way, this is there are only five movies on this list because I only saw five movies this year that I actually thought were bad. Some of these movies are not actually bad, but the last three... But some these are the movies that I personally did not like. These are the movies that infuriated me the most. <laughs> it's Chapter 2 coming in at number 5. What do you get when you get an evil space clown, a, a intimidating serial killer? Two, you get a long drawn out movie with generic sequences with good special effects, good actors, good uh, good performances with an anticlimactic ending that went on too long. I kind of was looking at my watch and I was wondering if this movie, dang, this is kind of going on a little bit too long. It's kind of going on a little bit too long. And you get this. You get Pennywise, a cruel, merciless, intimidating figure and what do you do you, you kind of ignore him you pretend he's not there you pretend he's not there and he'll go away you turn around and ignore him and he turns into a cross between a Funko doll and a Walt Disney character it 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 chapter two gets the uh, number five on this list all right coming in at number four what do you get when you get an actress with the kind of appeal and charisma of a chalkboard. Yeah. Well, did you get Captain Marvel? <laughs> a MCU movie that looks more like a Phase One MCU movie that was boring, generic, derivative. Absolutely had zero things going on. You never, you never felt like she was in any trouble. You never felt like she cared about it, you, about being there. You never felt like she was ever at all vulnerable. You never felt like she cared about the story. She just wanted to c collect a nice uh, billing dollar check. You get Captain Marvel, a movie that I that eliminated its male demographic. Right before the movie was released, and there was rumors that Walt Disney actually bought some of the seats from uh, initial release, as well as some idiot who actually went to go see this movie over a hundred times. Some idiot actually paid, came to watch this. I saw Godzilla King of Monsters four times this year, but this idiot actually bought 100 tickets to support this, this movie? No. And what's the best way to give this movie some, some steam? Put it in between Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame. And we all know the only reason we went to go see this movie, and anybody went to go see this movie, is because we wanted to find out what happens at, in the end credits parts. Avengers Endgame. All right, these are the last, the final three. These are the movies that actually infuriated me. These are the movies that actually made me turn in disgust. These are the movies that actually made me want to actually throw my popcorn at the screen. Coming in at number three. This is the, oh my gosh. Terminator Dark Fate could, could be your fate too. Because what do you get... What's the best way to put the final nail in the coffin to end a franchise forever by killing off John Connor the first couple of minutes and pretty much spitting on your core audience, making Terminator 1 and 
Terminator 2 absolutely obsolete by killing off the one reason why we're even in the theater watching this movie, John Connor. You know, they could have had somebody come in and be old man John Connor like the guy from The Walking Dead. They could have had old man John Connor be played by Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. That would have been a whole lot better. And what do they do to Arnold Schwarzenegger? They turn him into a complete idiot! Into a complete weenie that sells drapery. And to have a five foot tall woman play the leader of the resistance. Because you know what? She's going to stand and fight! Terminator Dark Fate gets the absolute honor of being the third and worst movie I saw this year. Number two. Coming in at number two. Oh my god. Hellboy. It could be your hell too. Rated R rating did not help this movie. David Harbour did not help this movie. This movie was an absolute generic mess of epic proportions. It kind of felt like... It's that feeling you get when you go when you go on a blind date and you find out the girl's this really ugly chick. Like the time I asked, I, when I was going out and I went on a blind date and the girl, I took a picture, me and my friend took a picture with these two girls and I ended up with the ugly one. But I took a picture with her because I was so drunk, so gone, so far gone, I didn't care. Same thing with Hellboy. And it, it and I heard that Ron Perlman wants to come back to, to finish the uh, to give us a trilogy. Please, Guillermo del Toro, give us Hellboy three. Next, all right. This is the movie that the final nail in the coffin. How to destroy? How to end a franchise forever? Forever. X Men Dark Phoenix. <laughs> Dark Phoenix. Nothing happens in this movie. What did we find out about Jean Grey? Absolutely nothing. I we do know nothing about. We still know nothing about her. She just kind of goes around for two hours, moping around. And Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, she's too famous to go into the makeup room for two hours or three hours at a time to be Mystique. She's so famous. She doesn't want. She wants everybody to see her. And she looked like she could care less being on this movie, just like everybody else on this movie. They were just kind of waiting. They were kind. Of, this is kind of like when you come into a job, you hate. You're just, you're just in there for the money. You're just in there to, to co collect a check in two weeks. You're just there because you have to be there. You hate being there, but you're there. You hate it, but you're there. That's exactly X Men: Dark Phoenix. Okay, these are the movies that I thought this year that. That were the worst movies, the most disappointing movies I saw this year. I hope you guys like this list. You guys, like I said, you guys don't have to agree on this list. You guys don't have to take it with a with a grain of salt. What I said, you know, whatever. Be, make up your own perceptions of what movies you saw this year. Uh, give me if you could give me a list of movies this year that you saw. Uh, Ten movies in all. I actually I only saw five that I actually didn't like. Uh, let me know in the comments below and, and thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm going to do an introduction video because my channel is actually going through a, a, a makeover and I'm making it into a much more marketable, a much more entertaining channel. Alright you guys and I will see you guys here. So get ready for my best of best movies I saw this year. There's 10 movies and so that means 10 slots. I can't. I saw actually saw a lot of great movies this year, but those are the five that I saw that I personally was like, Bleh! yeah, I did not like those movies. You could tell, right? All right, you guys, peace out.